developing story from Chesapeake, and that's where people are still, 11.06 p.m., still voicing their opinion, mostly in opposition to new development in the city. Yeah, long meeting. It's been going on for hours now. And 10 of your size, Liz Kilmer, just stepped out once again. So what are people talking about here, Liz? Well, Tom and Ida, as you said, yeah, that meeting is still going on. 71 speakers signed up to weigh in. When we stepped out just a few minutes ago, we were hearing from the very last speaker. That woman uh, is in support of this proposal, but we were hearing from a lot of folks here tonight uh, who are not in favor of it. Now, let me explain what this proposal is. It was brought forth by the Breeden Investment Properties Group. The company wants to bring 544 homes, about half of which would uh, would be apartments along with office or commercial space to open land that's at the corner of Dominion and Scenic Boulevards right near Grassfield Elementary. Now the developer is asking for a 90 day continuance in its request to rezone the property and tonight a spokesperson said that there's no reasonable viable or economic use for the land under its current zoning. Now a lot of citizens though as I said are passionately against this development tonight they've been telling council that this proposal will hurt nearby property values cause traffic problems and cause more flooding in the area. Many have expressed concerns that it will overcrowd schools and cause school bus issues, which people have stated are already problems in the division. One resident launched a petition that has thousands of signatures. She's accusing council of approving too much housing development in the city as it is. It's just the frustration with this broken record that we seem to have with city council. The development keeps going on and on and on, and the citizens keep saying, hey, it's enough, it's too much, why aren't you listening to us? So that's why I'm here. Now, the mayor and one council member have abstained from voting due to conflicts of interest. We're about to step right back in and see how the other council members vote. We do know that city staff has recommended council deny this request. We do know, though, that the planning commission has recommended that council approve it. Again, we're going to step right back in and you'll know what happens on wavy.com. I'm live in Chesapeake. Liz Kilmer, 10 on your side.